Arshu, can we start? Yeah, of course. Yeah, please go ahead. Please, sir. Sure, sir. Sure. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, just a small announcement. Um, the uh, yeah, the question and sessions will be at the last of the presentation. We welcome you all to the second journal club session and schedule. So for today's talk, uh, Ms. Bhuli Singh is going to present her gravity driven skeletal muscle atrophy. Uh, so she's a second year MSc uh, biotechnology student pursuing at Amrita School of Neurology at Amrita University. Uh, so with this introduction, I welcome uh, Goldie to take over the journal club session. Goldie. Please carry on. Okay, is my slide uh, visible? Hello, is there any? Okay, so I'm starting now. Astronauts, flo astronauts floating weightlessly in the vast of space, pushing the boundaries of human exploration, but this in grand cosmetic way. Let's embark on the journey of captivating why should we dwell in the intricacies of human health. Myself, I'm Golde Singh. So I'm from Amrita School of Biotechnology, currently doing MSc second year. And this is the paper I took from Nature Communication Biology with an impact factor of 6.5, lunar gravity. It talks about how the lunar gravity prevents skeletal muscle atrophy, but not there is a fiber, myofiber type shift in mice. So why there is a need to study human health in space? There are a lot of domain to this, this figure, if I say. So first is like, why should we study deep ex space exploration? Beyond the Earth's orbit, we human wants to explore the beyond the Earth's orbit. So there is a, like Mars, even all the domain, the, there is a need to study human health in space because even more significant, we have some missions we can do the increase the isolation deep space present unique health challenges should be addressed and the second mission for mission success it is very critical to adapt to the environment for the humans to jeopardize the mission's objectives because there is a lot of risk health which enhances the chance of completing mission successfully and we can do a lot of research like medicines biology physiology how to understand and provide insights into the fundamental biological process. And there is a, like, if we go into the prolonged exposure to microgravity, another space related condition, we have a lot of adverse effect on the physical and the mental health. So this is why we need to go and dwell into the research of health and safety for astronauts. So first of all, let's see what is muscle atrophy. If scientifically speaking, muscle wasting or is known as muscle atrophy, which can lead to the, like suppose there is a skeletal muscle and due to decrease in the size and the mass, which can re re result in the reduction of muscle strength and function. It can be categorized into a disbalance between the protein synthesis and decrease in the protein synthesis. Like suppose if you are going to the microgravity, the moment a human body enters into the microgravity of deep space or lunar gravity, there is a lot of disbalance between protein synthesis, which disrupts the whole skeletal muscles of our body. And the consequences can lead to the weakness and functional impairment, like lack of use. Even if we are using our, generally speaking, what is the atrophy in, if you are not in microgravity, can be use of, we are using our muscles lag, So how does the space affect the human body? Overall, what all the effects can be there? Like if we uh, typically speak about the brain, there, there may be a lot of sense of perception and orientation, which become uh, like astronauts sometimes feel that there is a direction, misinterpretation between the directions and the movement, which can call be space sickness. And blood, there is a lot of reduction in the blood cells uh, can be cause an, an anemia and a lot of radiations is exposed. Suppose we are entering into the space, there is a lot of overexposure to the radius, which can lead to the eye cataract. And uh, the other factor like bones, 
each month there is a reduction of 1.5 percent of the bone weight so in this paper what they did was like if the lunar gravity if we give the threshold differential between the lunar gravity and microgravity if yes then we can skeletal muscle adaptation will be there and there will be a prevention of atrophy which can lead to the slow and fast transition if no then there is a solution how to increase the threshold to prevent atrophy so this is the result they conducted and the first they uh, constructed a over unit over like mouse habitat unit this is uh, to investigate impact of differential gravitational forces microgravity that is 1 by g and 1g is for earth gravity that is mimicking the earth gravity it is a kind of uh, chamber a skeletal uh, so four three units were there mhu1 mhu4 and mhu5 in which they took male mice age 8 to 9 weeks uh, 9 weeks that was sent to iss for about one month iss is international space station in mhu1 they there was two group for constructing the experiment mh mg and ag mg is microgravity and artificial gravity whose gravity is mu 1 mic 1g and for mh4 and 5 the 1 by 6 of the earth gravity there are two type of mars l and s l is the long radius is constructed of the long radius centrifuge chambers and the s is for the short radius so both this graph represents like what are the overall effect caused by the lunar gravity on the sole muscle sole muscle is the calf, calf muscles in the leg in the first graph it shows that the sole muscle composed of slow oxidative type 1 and 2 amyo fibers is highly susceptible to microgravity and exhibits significant atrophy in space the weight of the sole muscle is very normalized to body weight like suppose it was found to be the 17% lower in the mg group than the gc group however it was similar between the gc and the pg group of mh4 and mh5 now this uh, this is how the effect was on the lunar gravity on the sole muscle if this graph shows the cross sectional area of the analysis of the sole muscle which revealed that there is a 40% of reduction in the myofiber size in the mg group but not in ag or pg this overall the data suggests that if 1 by g 1 by 6 g can prevent atrophy in the sole muscles during space flight can be a very potential mission for the astronauts they also got a lot of experiments were done and one of the ones like how gene is altered under the differential gravitational activity if we are giving mechanical laws of differential so there are some genes that can activate skeletal muscle atrophy such as atrogenes some of these genes are foxo3 fbxo32 and trim63 which is upregulated in the response of muscle atrophy that can include denervation or of issues of uh, muscle atrophy they also compared the last two graph is like ca2 dependent cysteine proteases cap and 1 and cap and 3 they are act of as a mutation in the genes that cause muscle atrophy there is there was no significant differences that was found in gene expression profile between mg and pg in any mission but the fact that they observed in the pg mice was reduced muscle atrophy so the data overall suggests that there is atrogen expression is not deeply affected by 1 by 6g environment and the suppression of factors could be responsible for the inhibitory effect of pg and ag against muscle atrophy in space and the, this shows that how the frequency distribution of different type of myofibers that is type 1 in type 1 2a and 2b and type 2x micro this shows that microgravity induces slow to fast myofiber transition in sole muscle from previous results what all they were consider that sole muscle atrophy was partially suppressed by the lunar gravity that investigated whether 1 by 6 g was sufficient to freak, uh, fre prevent microgravity that induces a slow to fast myofiber transition it was found that type 2a and 2b myofibers in the sole muscle was 43% lower and 1000 higher respectively 
in comparison to mg mice and gc mice that indicates to slow and fast my fiber transition during space flight there is, there was an alteration between two way and two b ratio in the mg mice was partially in, reverted in the pg mice so this infers that microgravity can be induced to slow to fast my fiber transition but that is not prevented by lunar gravity so this was the method first of all they this is the construction unit of mouse habitat unit they created an artificial chamber in you can see the right figure right figure which shows the different type of unit one is of small radius and the other is of large radius mh1 considers consists of 12 male mice that was launched on 2016 from the nasa kennedy space center and was transported to the is in the mice were divided into two groups mg group experienced microgravity and ag group was exposed to 1g artificial gravity why and the centrifugation for the mars s that is the short radius one the centrifugation speed was 77 rpm the other unit mhu4 six male mice were used nine weeks old and launched from 2019 and that was transported to iss and the radius they used for this unit was 15 cm and 31 rpm centrifugation lastly the other unit was of five that uses the 1 by g gravity that mimics the lunar gravity so overall the sample first of all they they constructed a mhu mission unit that was the construction of the building of the artificial chamber and the second they collected the sample and prepared like first of all they took the left and the right sole muscles and was mounted on the cork disc quickly that was frozen in isopentane cooled in liquid nitrogen and the frozen muscles like were subjected to ihc and rsc and the second after they they did the analysis of rna sequencing was mapped to the mouse surface genome and the expression was calculated and normalized differential expression was conducted using the test a differential gene function analysis performed using heat map and geo analysis was done after the this the histological ihc analysis of muscle cryo section were analyzed using first of all they did in fixation blocking and incubation with the primary and the secondary antibodies myofiber types in cross sectional area were assessed using microscope system and cell count application so this is the picture you can see how the astronauts is uh, in the deep space they are in between flying here and there so in overall of the study if there is a pro muscle atrophy is due to the disbalance between the protein factors the moment there is a the moment there is a degradation of uh, protein synthesis in microcavity loss of muscle mass is regulated by atrophy related genes and the, the gravity threshold between 1 and 1 by 6 g can suppress to low fast myofiber transition that is induced by the gravity influence on the outer space and the artificial gravity that is equivalent to 1 g can also in the small muscle can does not prevent slow to fast myofiber transition when microgravity the astronauts went from microgravity to lunar gravity this study is overall like uh, is uh, for mechanosensory mechanism is explored controlling the skeletal muscle response for the alterations in gravity and there are, what is the future perspective we can hold for this missions and like why do we want to go outside why humans want to travel outside beyond the earth even though we have a lot of to do here but we humans want to explore beyond the earth's earth's people and gravity and what is there outside so one of the first like why we do want to do research on different like first of all there are lot of frozen wells where we can do the mining and we can get some useful materials to explore that can be taken to the earth and may lead to long term space travel space tourism that is a kind of business for booming in everywhere outside that india is also planning for that and outside the world is planning for that 
and how the threshold exact gravity and molecular mechanism can be built up because the exact reason why there is a factors involving in the muscle atrophy is still not known because a lot of gene analysis has to be done and if we can adapt to the muscle adaptation in space that is the foremost thing we need to keep in mind thank you so if there is any question you can ask me first of all i would like I... to congratulate uh, goldi for uh, uh, within such a short span of time she has uh, uh, she has described the paper very uh, beautifully yeah the question the session is now open to q and a uh, participants are welcome hi this is shivam um Excuse me for the background noise because I'm traveling. Uh, excellent talk. Uh, I just had one question. In this study, uh, they only considered male mice. So, was there a yeah. specific reason for it, or like, did they no, do uh, any particular studies like this? Yeah, recently, first they considered female mice, and there is a research going on which they are considering the female mice also. So, you can look into that. I will so, share the link with that. Like, did they share any supplementary data for it, or the research is like no, still in? No, supplementary data is not there, but the research is going on. Because first of all, they took this, and the next mission is to to all the overall the gender based thing. Uh, why why I brought up this question is because the muscle mass, if I'm not wrong, itself might differ in male and female. So it would be very much possible that the effect would be different in in, in the. Uh, Like it could be sexually dimorphic. Yeah, effect. yeah, that is their possibility. Of course, there, there will be. Another uh, another thing, what uh, I was wondering is, have they done any like uh, electrophysiological studies or something like that to uh, check it at the neuronal level? Because uh, muscle, skeletal muscle, their contraction and any everything that is very much controlled by. Uh, Like that is very much coordinated by how the uh, neuronal network in the brain, like the motor cortex. So, have they looked at the motor cortex of these mice, like how microgravity or lunar gravity affects the motor cortex in this context? Are you, are you talking about the brain or the overall cortex in the spine or the no, brain? No, I am. I am just. I am just wondering if it's the motor cortex or the yeah, or even if the. No, maybe just the motor cortex. Like, have they looked into something like that? No, they had been focusing into the muscle atrophy only and uh, myofiber that is related to skeletal muscle. Uh, okay, thank you. In this paper, in this paper, I'm talking about this regarding paper. Okay, then that that maybe can be a future implication that you can, like, uh, this could be looked into. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Any more question? Pushpendra sir, sir has joined the last one. Um. Yeah, I was just yeah. wondering, like, ah. Uh, Uh, is there a simpler way of creating this microgravity so that you don't really have to go to space and perform these different type of experiments, like uh, the one that uh, was used for making the Chandrayaan experiment uh, initially? Is there some similar system available for biological experiments also? Um, the voice was not clear. Can you please repeat, sir? Uh, I'm asking, is there a a uh, simpler system where instead of having to go to space you can uh, simulate these microgravity or you can create microgravity on earth is there some way of doing it uh, instead of having to go to the space especially on bacteria or such system uh, yeah there is, mm, there is an 
what I got is like yeah, microgravity environment is is created. There is an aircraft like in parabolic that creates for the test and the simulations. Is it like what were you asking about that? Okay, yeah. no, yes. Basically, yeah. like some simpler experiments uh, using some balloon or this type of things which have been. Yeah, there uh, is a there is an experiment. In balloon, they are creating a two type of difference uh, mm -hmm. to explore like what all the the moment yeah. we leave the Earth or orbit, there is a decrease in the gravitational threshold. So to overall visualize like experiment this, what all the changes at every point of differential gravity can happen in the genes or in the protein overall, overall, not even just muscles, because this paper was only related to muscle. I talked about muscle, but overall they create a kind of chamber and a balloon thing with the high speed clino stat mimics the condition of microgravity. So there is an instrument that uh, name with the high speed clino stat. Sir, Pushpantra sir, I just want to add, uh, yes, uh, actually this kind of experiments are uh, uh, like recently in my institute, uh, some professor came uh, from NASA actually. So they are telling uh, like before the, for the set of any such kind of experiments, they build some, within the lab itself, they are able to create this kind of uh, environment and they will, before sending the animals or whatever study they want to perform, before that uh, they will check uh, within that uh, house mimicking condition, how each one's, everyone's body is responding to that. It's not like, uh, like everyone will be able, every human being will be able to accustom the conditions. Uh, from person to individual to individual, it varies is actually, sir. And uh, the yeah. other example is uh, like in for before going to Chandra and the Chandra and three mission, uh, like uh, they wanted to test that soil quality. So somewhere around uh, Tamil Nadu, there uh, some place name I don't exactly remember, but there is a place where uh, they found out that they the, that that soil condition mimics to that of the uh, the moon surface. So like similar kind of experiments they are carrying on. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Yeah, sir. Thanks there is the device like Leno stat. Yeah. And the motion of the particle, what I knew about is there is a continuous rotation in that which multiplies the effect of gravity. So they create a kind of chamber or a balloon thing to mimic the conditions of microgravity and the lunar gravity. Rush, sir, Rush, sir please. Sir. Yeah, no, uh, a wonderful talk, Goldie. Uh, that was a wonderful talk. I mean, you have taken us to a wonderful world of astrobiology. Yeah. Uh, and I was just wondering, um, uh, uh, you know, what if, you know, if, uh, 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 you know, the gravity is, uh, you know, taken up, you know, at multiple levels, matlab, you know, during, during different, you know, time intervals, who particular studies, uh, different types of uh, uh, mice may study kia gaya kia? because usually what I understand is from my little knowledge, although I've never worked on animal models, uh, you know, uh, there are different uh, uh, types of an animal models. So, for example, uh, IGF animal models, you know, for growth uh, factors. Okay, uh, you know, these are all you know for the hormonal mice models. Which uh, V star models, you know, which kism ke liye use karte hai. Nude mice, kis, you know, kis, kis kism ke liye use karte hai. Okay, so were there any such parallel studies, you know, that were done by any of such particular groups, taking cognizance of different uh, gravitational forces. Yeah, sir. This study, this paper only like uh, they created a chamber, a centrifuge. Chambers are there in between. So artificial system is created. The moment like uh, differential gravitational threshold is there. So like Earth's orbit and the moment the microgravity, microgravity and the lunar gravity one by sixth of the Earth. So microgravity doesn't represent only one by sixth. A differential gravity is there because we are leaving the Earth's orbit, right? and we have to reach the moon. So gradually there is a decreasing gravity. So this study is also conducted in that only. Oh. Only just on the muscles, uh, at muscles, skeletal muscles. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, but uh, Professor, question, sir. Uh, uh, I think, uh, sir, what you said, I understood, like uh, you wanted to uh, check like different animal models. Is it like you're yeah, asking that is, that specifically? Is what I to, yeah, that is what I was Even I had, the, I had the same doubt because as you said, like a -kick study for each, each study uh, types, like say, suppose, sir, just a bata rahe hai, like sir was saying about the news, nude mice, wo immunocompromised, if uh, cancer hai, uske liye, they use that. 
so i think yeah maybe sir they will have that thing uh, in right. their mind they right. have some background at based on that maybe might have yeah, yeah something i mean that is what i mean because a, a nude mice have we star mice and noble mice have igf mice have. you know these are all the well known you know mice models you know, that are known you know uh, you know to capture you know different interests actually uh, yeah barka has raised her hand you know, she is an expert in animal models so she will be able to tell us uh, hello everyone yeah hi goldie it was a very nice presentation a very interesting study it was there uh i am not an expert in the animal models but just wanted to ask that like uh, not uh, about the animal models but like in this study have they considered like the gravity effect on the blood pressure and everything because the muscles they mainly function by the uh, that oxygen supply and all mm. so when apart from the gravity the muscle is mostly affected by the circulation of the blood so that kind of a immediate change from uh, shift in the gravity how is it contributes to the uh, the genomics that you are uh, studying is uh, there had been any correlation studied in this yes. paper they didn't uh, talk about the blood and all but what all i found like i search about that they are just considering the genes and what all the protein factors they studies about the change in the gravity like microgravity lunar gravity only the proteins and the muscles not the blood related ma'am in this paper they just studied this yeah, yeah. no but the effect of uh, genome i believe is more of a long term uh, not of the immediate uh, if prash sir may comment on it like like is it a long term effect that it is observed or immediately there is an uh, due to the gravity the genomes are changed No, I really don't know, Barka. I mean, I'm very naive in this. Maybe others, you know, Pushpin or others can come in. Goldie has yeah, said. They, they are them. trying to like this, do a long experiment here. This was this was just one month experiment, I would say, and uh, they are planning to do a further like one year or two year long experiment. So I think so that time they might be considering this all aspects. Okay. Okay. Nice. Very interesting. I will surely read more about it. Thank <laughs> Thank nice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, any more questions from participants? Uh, hi, Goldie. I wanted to know what got you is interested in this paper, or uh, why you chose this particular paper. Uh, first of all, due to recently chandrayaan 3 launch and aditya l1 mission launch i was reading the news and i was i was feeling like why we biotechnology i am from a biotechnology ground so why there is not a lot of explored in india so i just thought to study about that and i found this paper a very much interesting so that's why nice thank you any more question so if not uh, uh, indrani you know uh, i think we should take a photograph with all of us and uh, sure sure sir And, yes uh, sir definitely a uh, uh, group send this thing this sure, all sure. uh, way to remember and also please ensure that you issue certificate to goldy for her wonderful presentation okay. and, <laughs> sure uh, sir sure definitely uh, and also others will also be in the pipeline so uh, there will be other certificate also thank you so much goldy for your enlightening this both this area yeah it was very lively i mean within a day uh, you managed to take it it's really hard work uh, so i request all the participants to switch on their camera and we can take a photo malvika nabomita
I request other participants also to switch on their camera. Indrani, I've taken one photograph. Have you already taken it? No, sir. No, sir. We'll uh, take them. Smile, please. Yeah, you're still looking at the smiling faces. Okay. <laughs> you see, Peter Agu has joined from all the way from Nigeria. Uh, <laughs> and he can also show the Nigerian countryside. Thank you everyone for listening to my talk. This was my first presentation on BioFluse. So I was, uh, nice. this was like one day presentation I did in, uh, and talk about my interest. Thank you for listening. Yeah, for hats of Ramagolgi. Yeah, wish, you really? to, uh, wish you fly to moon and do research. Uh, sure, sir, sure, sir. I will take BioFluse there, definitely. <laughs> I think we should give a thumping on the Thank you. Yes, definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Good one, Dooli. Good one. So, who is next, uh, Indrani? I think so. Uh, Durga or Malvika, maybe? Dur yeah. Dheeraj? Dheeraj, are you taking? Is there. Uh, Malvika is there. Oh, like, I've shifted for the next week, actually. Okay. Uh, from BAT, no one has joined uh, Indrani. Goldie, Malvika? Sir, the VID is having exams, so... Okay, LPU? Yeah. From a, oh, Malvika has joined that. Malvika is joined. She yeah, Malvika is joined. Malvika is there. LPU? LPU se koi joined? LPU, no one has joined. Yeah, we have to remind them, yeah. Okay. And yeah. international yeah. chapter, of course, Peter, uh, Agu Peter is there. He has joined. Okay, good. Yeah. So, thank you so much, everyone. No, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you. you. Bye.